Hey there, it's Jerry. Uh, been a few days since I worked on video. The round pin project had to go on hold. I've gotten all the, the boards and panels off. Finally got the load of dirt in for it, or the sand. So I need to get on the tractor and fix that. But today, I'm gonna take the bottom strand off the high tensile fence. My horse Tex managed to get in it. Still don't know exactly how he managed that, but he did. Just got the bottom strand, cut himself on the leg. So what I'm going to do is replace that with a poly rope. And I understand, yes, before you comment that, that the braid is better. I don't need 1,300 pounds of braking strength. I want a lower braking strength if a horse gets a leg hung on the bottom strand. The fence will give. As you can see here, these little pins pop in and out and the wire will break through them and there's also a section for the rope here i would rather the fence break loose let the horse get out of it than have something that's going to hold his leg hard and fast because i'm putting grown horses in here i'm not trying to keep you know goats pigs or anything small in here there's nothing in here i'm trying to keep the coyotes and foxes out of um, there are options for that if you need it but really this is a a physical barrier primarily the next this wire next to the top is hot I'm not going to touch it to show you that but fortunately the bottom one wasn't hot or if it was he would have taken the whole fence with him but as it was several clips gave way the fence is only tied off hard at each terminal on each end so a high tensile fence should be done that way so that it has some give to it if an animal gets in it you want it to give with them rather than snag them because if it was a a fence with fencing staples holding fast where he was tethered to the two posts on either side he would have hurt himself pretty bad as it is it's aggravating i have to keep it wrapped up but still it could have been a lot worse so that's the project for today and on these little farms when you start doing especially with horses there's always something to do all right well we're up here at the barn Got some lights you can see this is tex tex appears to have been sticking his forehead in the hay for some reason normally it's not this jacked up looking but that's that's tex Tex is a rope horse. Tex is a heel horse. Tex is good at it. Right now, Tex has a wrap on his leg. So, give him location of the cut being on the inside of the hock. A lot of movement in that joint. So, I don't want to cause it to widen. So, I'm keeping him up. Normally, he would be out here in the pasture having a good time. But, everything that you're going to need to put a poly rope, the same stuff that you'll need for putting up any high tensile fence. Start with, we're just gonna come along here, cut the bottom strand loose at the corner, and pop each pin out, slide that wire out, roll it up. Then I can simply tie off to the same connector, run my rope, tie it off and it doesn't have to be super tight but it'll be tight enough as it is so main thing to do is be careful when you're cutting this don't let it spring back on you really not much to these but they are super easy when you're building a fence out of this stuff First time I've ever had an issue with it, but I guess the first time you pay a vet bill should be the last time. You should learn your lesson on that one. And use just the high tensile up higher. We're, I mean, not saying a horse can't manage to get in the wire, but I mean, you're talking about a lot of effort. And if they already know what's hot, which Tex had been here three days, he should have known the fence was hot, but he somehow managed all right well i took the stake off my spinning jenny that i used for the wire which fits perfectly inside this and this is poly rope i'd set my 
camera down except for I didn't bring a tripod out here and use a clamp to mount it on the tractor so a lot easier just to hold it while I'm doing this. So this is just poly rope. As you can see, it's a kind of size to it. They can see it pretty good. So, um, you know, it says on here not to be used as a permanent fence solution, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to use it however I need to use it. One thing you'll want to do though, always singe the ends of these, and whenever you go to cut it electrical tape on each side cut it and then singe it otherwise this stuff will just come apart and you see it's got wire in it so you can I mean you can make it hot if you want to I'm just using it more of as a visual barrier since I've got a hot wire already tied in it's good permanent wire I'm just gonna do that so anyway I'm gonna pull this down to the other end down there tie it off run this way do this whole side then go back and take that side loose and do it as you can see, on that stake makes it pretty easy just to walk along and pull what you need out. That's where I'm going to tie it in back there. So no point in bringing the spool all the way down here until I get ready to do this section. So one thing that is kind of a pain about this is I haven't been able to find any crimps that I could use on this. So basically I'm just going to have to tie it off. So basically the way I tie this stuff off is being nylon or it's a pain in the butt to deal with. I tie it like I would a fishing knot. Wrap it around itself about four times, back through the loop in the middle. Then all the tension is pulling back against the rope versus pulling the knot apart. If you know a better way, great. Leave it in the comments. I don't, I don't know a better way because ideally if, if it was, if they made the the crimps like they do for lead ropes where you want to build a lead rope made in the small i would simply crimp it put a knot in it and then crimp it on the other side of the knot so that it would hold but i may find a method that works better than this but for now this is the best way i know to tie a nylon rope to keep it from sliding all the way back through the knot untying all right so the bottom strands in as you can see a little bit more of a visible barrier and to tighten it up, I can add a tensioner in the line somewhere, probably at the end. You can also, same as with a high tensile fence, if you want to really start tightening up, you can always just twist your loops here where you've got it tied off. So I'll tension it whenever I feel like it really needs it. I mean, it's got just enough tension on it now to stay straight. I don't really want to pull it maybe more than six inches eight inches this way but i'll do that later all right well i had to stop and go run an errand in town what i decided to do was with the top strand since it's not hot was just to go ahead and tie it into the same terminals as the wire there's really no reason to take the wire down and then since there are you can see there's places for both rope and wire on those that's tied in there so tomorrow i'll come out i'm going to run another one from here and split the difference between these two wires with a rope and go all the way around with that and then i'll do that section of fence over there and we'll be finished for now until it's time to do the next pasture but anyway i think it gives a little bit more visibility especially once i get the middle wire in or correction the middle rope in but just another one of those things you have to do because most horses can go in a single strand hot wire and never do a thing some horses you could wrap them in bubble wrap and use all rubber post all rubber fencing and still end up at the vet's office so it is what it is anyway thanks for watching until next time